Ah. Your fingers. <laughs> Very good. Okay, cool. So welcome everyone to our um, bi-weekly SMI community meeting. Uh, if you haven't yet, please add yourself to the attendee list. Um, and with that, do we have any anyone new on the call? Not into sure. Yeah, right. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. Um, hey. My name is Matt Yakabuchi. Um, a lot of people call me Booch, so I think you might have seen some of my messages out there. Uh, so I'm working with uh, Nginx, and so we've just released Nginx Service Mesh. It's now public. It was a little bit um, behind a wall for a little while, um, but now that we're public, we're trying to reach out to the community and and be and be. Um, Better members, we've got all the legal stuff smoothed out. We're able to contribute both to SMI spec and SMI SDK Go. So that's all good. The whole team is, is ready to go. And from an Nginx BU and F5 perspective, we're uh, ready to engage. So I just wanted to say hello awesome. to everybody. And um, I'm gonna try and be a semi-regular member to these, to these meetings. That's awesome. Very warm welcome. And uh, that's really great to hear. Do you maybe want for next time or whenever you, you plan to try and again, uh, give a quick demo or, or walk us through a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds, uh, that sounds great. Um, we're still trying to work through some of um, you know, our understanding and we want to collapse on certain understandings around the specification. So, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to give a little, um, you know, five minute presentation on it. Awesome. And can I also ask you to, if you click on that link um, that both Lee and also Bridget now again shared, uh, to add yourself there, just saying your name and uh, yeah, here we go. Yep, whatever you prefer. Uh, Thank you. Five. Awesome. Cool. Welcome, Birch. Excited to have you and congrats on the launch of the service match over at Nginx. Yeah, great. Thank That's you, everybody. Exciting. Did you say that the engine X mesh is already SMI compliant or you're working on it? It is SMI compliant. Yes. Um, and so uh, we're up to all the latest versions. We're shy on some of the SMI metrics. So we don't support every uh, right. resource that's called out, um, but we have stateful sets, daemon sets, deployments, pods, and namespaces, I think is, right. is what we're limited to right now. I mean, that's excellent. And let's make sure that you are listed on, on our um, webpage there, right? Yes. I and I do want to get listed. <laughs> we have a little bit of an embarrassment though. <laughs> uh, with circuit breaker in rate limiting, um, yeah, there was a miscommunication or a misunderstanding with the team on how those should have been namespaced. We do want to talk to you guys about proposing them going forward. Um, it always should have been in our organization. So I don't want to communicate that until maybe next week. Um, I could send you guys a pull request, whatever the method is. But our next release that should be out has that cleared up. And then I want to move forward with saying this is this awesome. Good to go. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Yeah. You got it. Uh, oh yeah, Bridget, thank you very much. Uh, she just shared um, the link how to add your logo, the, the fragment in the, in the repo there. If you just follow that. Cool. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I will move mine, the, the open telemetry towards the end, unless I see someone here. I like how you have the humility to skip the item I added to the top, which is, hey, we didn't actually talk about it at a meeting. Uh, in, we, we did talk, but we didn't write it in the notes. So I'm putting it for posterity that Michael and Tarun are spec maintainers. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was so focused on what you what the <laughs> Lee scribed there uh, around really? the, the introduction of, of, of Nginx that I, I didn't I didn't really see that I mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes thanks a lot um, I'll just make a minor correction um, and awesome.
So are we good to go to Tarun's um, action, uh, sorry, agenda item around DSMI metrics, images, and charts to GitHub? Okay. If anyone else has insight about it, he had it last time, so we pushed it to this time and he isn't here today. So we he could push it here. further, but I don't know if somebody else already knows or has enough context to talk about it. Is going, it going. Oops. Okay. Um, then we have um, from yourself, Bridget, regarding the upcoming schedule question to cancel essentially oh. next time yeah so um the meeting uh november 25th would be one day before u.s thanksgiving and even with the pandemic mm -hmm. people certainly have like family obligations around that time i know i'm right. off work that week um because i took yeah. vacation then and then the meeting december 9th would be fine and then the december 23rd one again i think people's vacation schedules might might be such that it would be very difficult for us to have an effective meeting so right. my proposal is right. we meet december 9th and then we go back to normal January 6th. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, Michelle isn't I, here, I think, but she said that sounded good. And I'm just curious yeah, what everyone else thinks. That that makes sense. I'm just wondering if next week, KubeCon week, if we also, because I saw- Usually six mm -hmm. cancel their meetings during KubeCon because everyone's so busy with KubeCon. Right. But, that's um, but we, do have, we do have exactly Lee's topic, be. so. Exactly, exactly. So maybe if, if anyone, uh, like, are there any objections regarding the cancelling 25th and uh, cancelling 23rd December? Um, and essentially, we have then more or less one more meeting this year and then back to normal January 6th, right? That's the, the bottom line. Correct? Sounds good to me. I mean, anything that is pressing can be handled via Slack and channeled. Correct? Sure. Yeah. Slack, GitHub issues, everything goes on just to the bi-weekly meetings um, as, as suggested by, by Brit. Okay, then let's record that uh, 25th is canceled, 23rd is canceled, which means we have one more meeting in 2020. That's more more than enough for 2020. 2020 doesn't deserve that much anyways. Wasn't that good? Um, cool. Uh, then we get to Lise. Uh, good news regarding next week. Yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good news. The um, what Bridget has written here is accurate, which is to say, I think it, yeah, it's about a forty-five minute long slot on toward the evening on this coming Tuesday for well, SMI, you know, all things SMI, I guess. Um, the uh, so everyone here is welcome to come and either answer questions or ask questions. <laughs> We'll see who all um, shows up to. So it would, it would be a Zoom that that um, uh, we would join. Um, of the ones that I've hosted like this in the past, um, it has been helpful to generate conversation to just to have a cup, a slide or two or four or or a, a deck in the background that uh, that when people don't know what questions they have, you sort of. Um, bring up a slide, talk about something that's new or that, that that's going on and, and that generates more questions. And so um, I guess, yeah, so I guess the thing here is um, those that are interested in uh, inserting a slide into a deck, um, I guess I didn't realize I was signing up for this until we uh, this just happened, which is, hey, I'll, I'll go put up a, I'll go grab a I'll go put up a couple of slides and put out the link here, invite folks to, um, yeah. I think my, my words are failing me today, but uh, you, you know where I'm going with this. Uh, so some, it would be good to, yeah, you know, just the general, just the, the stump speech, so to speak, um, slides. Also, if that we've got relatively new things coming up or, or things like Nginx um, service mesh being um, sort of yet another, um, you know, compatible implementation. And and just in, in terms of the the logistics, so all that people need is this cat.cofmyb. There is no registration or whatever. They just go there, and from there they get onto the Zoom. There was. It was. It only took so many people's names. I filled in as many maintainers' names as would fit on the form. 
And so sorry for the when when you know imagine I'm tweeting out, hey, you know, if you're interested in SMI, come and join. What URL would I use? Would I use that scat or what uh, yeah? Would I use? Um, yes. okay. that, that's correct. Yep. At that URL, there's a pre-published um, Zoom link. So I don't know that entirely how that works if people actually have to register for kubecon to be able to get into it but but there's a the cncf is handling it but at least last time it didn't gate through the entrado system so i really doubt it's going to have anything to do with kubecon registration it didn't last time right. they added a little I, bit more I, structure around it this time but i clicked on it but i'm locked in there and i see you know trying to service uh, mesh, uh, interface office hours here and then there's a zoom uh, webinar uh, link there I'm logging out now. Let's see if that's still the same. Um, okay, need to try again, but it looks good to me. Yes, so even if you're logged out, uh, can confirm. So we can simply use that to promote it probably beginning of next week. Otherwise people <laughs> forget about it anyways. Um, cool, yeah. sounds good. That's... Um, Definitely something hopefully a lot of people will see and, and come. Anything else regarding this? Uh... I'll, I'll put a link to the deck probably. Here. I'll go grab a couple of things. Um, Locky and others have certainly got a lot of good fodder out there for, uh, for it. And I'll ask for feedback and, and massive uh, editorial review, I guess. It didn't have to be much. It really isn't a presentation. It's more just like, hey, did, did you know? When, when nobody has a question, it's just. Yeah. Right. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot again, Lee. That, that was really super helpful that you took, took care of that. And hopefully a lot from our end and also so the outside will, will join and we'll have good conversations there. And I, I believe it will be recorded, right? So people get a chance to. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, yeah, my, uh, right. My assumption is as good as yours that like they're all recorded and, and part of, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's. They the ran them like office hours last time and I don't think I published them. So your mileage may vary. Okay. I don't think they published the office hours last year or last KubeCon. I, I, ju I just imagine that like for me, for example, that's 10 PM. That's still okay. But if you're like, Central Europe or you know more Eastern or I don't know for Asia it might just be too late so people might just want to watch the, the recording right that's why I'm um, wondering cool um, then thanks a lot again and let's move on to the next one Bridget you put that down but that's I did and I saw John joined I know Michelle wasn't able to join this call today but John mm -hmm. I see Michelle extended it for one more week um, seeking feedback is there anything people should know if they're going to fill that form out to uh, offer SMI metrics feedback um, I, I think the doc does have a pretty good description of what we're looking at for that so I would just take a look at the doc Oops, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interfere with your scribing there, because now that actually makes sense to, to handle it here. I don't know if you had a, a chance um, in that context, the, the um, open telemetry issue 199. So we got um, someone from the open telemetry uh, community just in there commenting on it, uh, offering, so if you click on that 199, you see I uh, commented on that. Uh, I had a conversation with them over on Gitter. They still using Gitter. Um, I guess they're moving to Slack as well at some point in time. Um, so I would think that as soon as we have wrapped up the previous one, the, the Google Doc that John shared, um, we might be able to um, get back, either invite Justin for a conversation or, or share that Google Doc with them saying, okay, this is where we are. At least that was my thinking there. That's great. That that's, that's, makes a lot of sense. So I, I really appreciate that they were really super uh, open-minded sense of, hey, what, what do you need, right? What, what kind of semantic conventions or whatever? Um, and then we probably just need to communicate, uh, you know, here would be our proposal. Uh, there are a few there, but overall the, 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 the metrics are still um, 
in 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 Otel are still a relatively moving target. So I believe it's like Q1 2020, one uh, where the GA is planned. So you know, we're we're still good even with our um, timeline here. Question, question, Michael. In your mind, is this um, is this more about compatible semantics and conventions, or is or is this also inclusive of potential? Because the word in, instrumentation is mentioned in there. Sorry. So there are two parts, right? The, I would say the semantics are the the easier ones. This is essentially something where, as long as we find a consensus and say we consider A, B, C as the things that we want to, you know do or expose or, or, or capture um, the rest there is still this you know on the wire like uh, what happens with open metrics will open metrics be adopted by hotel metrics as the wire format etc cetera, etc cetera, where i think we from the smi perspective we might have an, an you know um an opinion on that or, or an input but we, we don't really own that right um i guess it's more like what is the like working backwards from what would be the idle situation if someone um, using OTEL as the the standard is able to instrument an SMI compliant mesh and gets out everything you know um, compliant to to the standard that would be the idle case right um, and semantics to me are the kind of like low hanging fruits right that that's something that doesn't cost a lot right everyone is like fine it's, it's just a convention and the rest is um, essentially up to everyone to implement then right if you're buying into that if you're saying like yes i'm gonna you know write an exporter i'm gonna write something in the sdk or whatever in, in hotel then you know, that's up to you um, but i think that's what we i think for our smi implementers or or you know, people who actually provide as my compliant meshes want to provide us a guidance or give us a guidance, I guess. At least that's that's the way I see it. I'm yeah. not sure if everyone agrees with that. But. It's helpful to, well, thank you for thinking about that out that out loud. Uh, um, in, and I'll press with another question though, about where you can do the same thing, which is uh, um, in your mind, would this be, do you consider that this might be additive, the, like an, um, additive to the existing metric spec in which um, it's optional for uh, service mesh implementations that are compatible with that SMI to sort of choose between uh, open, um, open telemetry compatible metrics versus the, the metrics that are there today or the formatting of what's there today? That's a great question. I... I'm unsure, but I, I would say that open telemetry, given that it's, you know, it's an emerging standard and so far, essentially the only part that is going to a by end of year is, is traces, right? Both metrics and logs are kind of like still work in progress coming next year. Um, I do believe that, you know, looking at different specifications or future standards within CNCF, it would make a lot of sense if, you know, we, we support each other, right? Like if, if yeah. unless there's a really good reason, why, why should we not? Um, but I also see that kind of like backwards compatibility, that might be an issue, right? So I don't really have a strong opinion on that other than I would wish everyone going forward would simply commit to OTEL and, and mm -hmm. say like, oh, we, we, we gonna, implement that standard but i think we can only give a recommendation there and saying like if you uh, decide to adopt hotel in your implementation then here is you know for example the semantics that that we suggest to use rather than coming up with your own i don't think that we can like make that a requirement or force anyone i guess one thing that'll be informative in this in that thinking is understanding how many of the implement the service mesh implementations today are in fact compatible with SMI metrics that conform to this right. spec. And so, uh, right. so, uh, yeah, so I'll, 
Do you think we should take an action item to, to research that, to, to have a closer look at that, or what's your... Uh, I do, well, yeah, well, or uh, yes, and I was sort of saying it tongue-in-cheek with respect to uh, the SMI conformance effort to go over and uh, verify that, awesome. like... Oh, yeah, that would that be might awesome. help. I think that would be super useful if, if you could... If, if I don't know if it extends your scope or, or if, if you see that anyways there, but that would be awesome, absolutely. I think that would be super useful for everyone. Or just, yeah, informative toward like, hey, is backwards compatibility really, a, or how big of an issue is it? Does, right. how compatible are meshes today? Exactly. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, sorry, go ahead. Oh, so I, I sorry. I, I would say that we have some freedom here being alpha and you're the moving target. Um, there is a real nice story to tell to align with open telemetry. Um, and I think you're going to find some freedom here because I think a lot of data planes are going to be decoupled from the presentation of SMI metrics versus open telemetry anyway. So to, I think this is more of a presentation problem rather than any like data sync or data sourcing problem. So we should have some freedom to, to move between either implementation or many uh, data planes probably have the freedom to move between any implementation. So I shouldn't see us saying it's mutually exclusive, but a should. I would like to see a should to say collapse on open telemetry, if, if that's right. possible. And I agree. And if I could also ask you to comment on that issue 199 uh, and, and in addition uh, to, the, to the Google Docs that's mentioned there, uh, to the SMI metrics, Essentially, sharing where you are or where, where you know your thinking there is, given given where you are. Yeah, which which get up issue is it? Uh, the the issue is one ninety nine on our side. Uh, I think they're tracking it differently in, in O2 metrics. But if you comment there, uh, Justin from their end is the, the liaison, and I'm I'm trying to facilitate things from our end. And um, I'm not sure. I think he's from Lightstep. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, this and, and the, the Google Docs that's um, uh, in the previous agenda item uh, that John pointed out, the Google Docs around SMI metrics feedback. Cool. So we have seven minutes left and I will shut up now other than moderating and handing over to Lee for the SMI conformance work stream. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, last time we met, we touched on we touched on the topic of SMI conformance, um, which is uh, uh, which is an effort to verify uh, that a given implementation um, adheres to the specs to the SMI specs. And there's kind of a lot in there. Um, it's a fairly well advanced effort that is functional and, and performs some tests, the, it needs to perform probably, or uh, um, let, let me step back and say, so there's a lot to discuss. Last time we left, um, Michelle had suggested that we, you know, that we call a meeting. And, and I think probably her expect that we call a, like a, re a recurring work stream um, to kind of advance the discussions and, and give some dedicated time to it. And, uh, for my part, I thought that I would have done that by now. I thought we would have already had that meeting. Um, since it hasn't happened yet, um, and there's a few things that are happening within the Service Mesh Working Group, I was um, trying to find a spot on the CNCF calendar to host that call or that discussion and thought, uh, and thought of leveraging the Service Mesh Working Group to help advance it. Um, do you, so two questions. The SMI metrics discussion that was held two, three weeks ago, was that, how was that scheduled? Was that done through? It was in this time slot, but just on an off week. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. That might actually work. Yeah. I should, yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it every other week? I mean, yeah. if this isn't a one-time meeting, I'm just trying to be clear about right. what you're yeah. looking no, to I don't do. Think it, it, you're right. It won't be um, for a couple of reasons. Um, one is assuming that, you know, a healthy number of the implementers actually participate. It'll take each implementer or each service mesh a little bit of time to, yeah. The short answer is, yeah, we'll need to meet a few times. So every other. Well, 
I put a note on about your proposed time just because um, Friday, 1 p.m. Central, 11 a.m. Pacific is definitely nighttime on a Friday in Europe. And I guess I'll ask Michael to kind of speak to and Stefan to speak to how useful that time slot is for them. But that's kind of my concern about Fridays. I mean, for me, it would still kind of work for Stefan is like two hours ahead of me. So that's even later, <laughs> maybe not the best time. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it will work for me on Fridays. <laughs> the, the Wednesday, the every other Wednesday, like the, this same time slot, except for next week with KubeCon. Um, and, and actually, okay. I would, okay. So cool. you want to just put that on the SMI calendar as the conformance working group? Yeah. And you want to start it the December, whatever it would be. Uh, the first one, I guess, would be December 2nd. Is that what you would prefer? Well, no, <laughs> because that's another, like, um, uh, it's, it's unfortunate that like we, I'd wanted the initiative to be done this year to be over with it. Um, so, so I guess I, I should ask uh, since we have three minutes and we've got uh, so meeting this week is anybody available to meet tomorrow? It's not, it doesn't necessarily need to be everybody. I mean, I have, but so not next week. That means the following week we're going to have this meeting. So no, no, no. The following week, we're going to have U.S. Thanksgiving. Uh, we already decided we're not going to have this meeting. So if you want to hold a, a different meeting on the 25th of November, I'm not going to stop you, but I'm also not going to come to it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if, we, if we don't do Thanksgiving here in Europe, I would certainly be up for it if you want to. I don't know if, if um, who else. Awesome. So if you want to do, if you, if Michael, do you want to run a meeting in this time slot, just the, run the meeting on Wednesday, the 25th? We don't need any specific things for the kicking off the scene that just works on its own, right? We don't need some magic moderator access or whatever. Do you have, I can sync with you after this and make sure you okay. have the, the mod code. Cool. Yep. And that's pencil it in and nice. All right. Great. Cool. All right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. That's and we that's still we end. have two minutes to bike shed over mm -hmm. who's gonna moderate and or take notes on December 9th. I see Matthew raising his hand. I feel too new to moderate. I can um I can I can do the notes. Awesome. Please give me the uh, the Google Doc enabled email address that you just send it to me so that I can add it so that you can take the notes. Cool. Can I just send you that? Um... Yeah. DM it to me on here. Okay. And we have a mod. Stefan, you want to moderate on December 9th? Sorry, I I don't know if I will, will be able to make it. All right, uh, then I guess it'll be me. Yeah, or and Michael, yeah. you'll you're in charge on the twenty fifth. Oh yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you. Thank okay. you. Bye. Nice. Bye. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Now. Bye. Bye. Bye.